Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today's a collaboration called Life's a Beach. The host is Krista's Crafty Life. The co-host is Crafty Hints. The playlist will be in my description box, so make sure you take a look at these wonderful crafters. Till then, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. So here we go. This first one's going to be very quick and easy, very simple. Dollar Tree frame. Dollar Tree has really great um, stencils and especially for coastal. So this one I'm going to be using says meet me by the sea. So I'm going to be using Hobby Lobby craft paper. It actually came in a book. I think it was called coastal something. Got it last year. So I'm just going to trace the back and just cut out the craft paper. To place the craft paper down, I'm just going to be using the glue stick. So I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree stencil and I'm just going to place it over the craft paper and I'm going to apply some tape just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to be applying the Waverly white chalk paint. I couldn't find my sponges, so I'm using a paintbrush just going the up and down motion. So I'm trying not to get any paint underneath. And um, it actually comes out pretty good considering it's a Dollar Tree stencil. The tape and lift off the stencil and you can see how nice it came out. I mean, it's not like something you get from a Hobby Lobby, but for Dollar Tree, it's not bad. Especially if you don't have a printer or a Cricut and you wanna make something cute. This is quick and easy and it's very inexpensive. And that's how it came out. It came out pretty good. Now I'm just going to put it right back into the frame. And this took like less than five minutes to make. And look how cute it came out. Alright, keeping with the beachy theme, I took two Dollar Tree frames and some Hobby Lobby craft paper. I do change one of the craft papers. I didn't like the lighter color and went with the darker color. And I'm also going to be using Dollar Tree. They have these little glass stickers and I'm just going to place them on the actual uh, craft paper. Um, and they come out really cute. So I'm just taking them out of the plastic and removing the little metal pieces in the middle. And then I'm going to take the craft paper and I'm going to place it inside. So this is the craft paper I replaced. So I'm just going to be using the glue stick to place down the craft paper and it really does hold very well. Now I'm going to take those glass stickers and I'm just going to place it right in front. quick and easy. You could stop here if you like, but I wanted to add a little more embellishments. So I thought it needed something else, so I just grabbed some jute twine from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place it inside the frame, place it down with the glue gun. Now I'm going to add some Dollar Tree um, shells to the corner with some hot glue. So 
So I placed down three shells and I was thinking about painting them, but then I was like, I don't know if it'll come out good. So I left it. And that's how it looks. Came out cute. Now I'm going to work on the other one. I'm going to be using different craft paper. This is the one I'm going to be using. For this one, I'm going to place down um, a different glass sticker. They're both cute. Um, this one I'm not going to put shells on. I'm actually going to put just the mesh ribbon on the corner. I'm also going to place the jute twine inside the frame as well. This is the mesh ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place a little piece on the corner. Place it down with a dab of hot glue because there's really nothing to hold on to. So just a tiny bit. And I think it's cute. You know, these kind of remind me of um, little picture frames I've seen so many times at Hobby Lobby. Not the exact type, but similar because Hobby Lobby has stuff like this. Well, I don't know. They came out really cute, I think. You know, something simple, quick and easy, inexpensive, cute little beachy decor. <laughs> it's very easy. And this is how they all came out. All right, I'm gonna be using a Dollar Tree seahorse. Um, it has the words in front, so I just kind of left it. So I'm just gonna take the string off from the top and I'm gonna start painting it. I'm gonna start off by using this Caribbean Blue by Apple Barrel, and I will be adding some white to it as well. So I'm using the white chalk paint, I'm just adding a little bit, and then I'm going to blend it together. So I'm going to be using a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe off some of the paint in one direction. Alright, I'm going to take the Caribbean blue again and do the same thing in the middle part of the seahorse. I'm going to use the baby wipe again and just wipe down some of the paint. Try to like blend it. It's going to have like a multicolor effect to it. Next, I'm going to be adding some turquoise to it just to give it a little bit of an offset color to it. So I'm trying to give it like a multicolor dimension. I'm adding a little bit of white to it as well and just mixing it around and blending it. And now I'm just wiping it off with a baby wipe. I'm going to add a little bit of the aqua marine and I'm going to do the same thing, blend it and then wipe it down with the baby wipe. So I know I'm adding a lot of different paints, but I'm trying to get it like that really cool effect to it. Now because there's words already engraved into the wood, I'm going to take this white marker and I'm just going to highlight it inside because 
I don't have a steady hand to use paint, so I'm going to use the marker. There's lines already engraved in there, so I'm just going to do the same thing with the marker. I'm using the ruler just to make sure it's straight. Now I'm going to be using these little tiny shells I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to hot glue them all around the seahorse's spine to make his spine look realistic. Now I'm going to take all three colors and I'm going to paint the actual shells to match the body of the seahorse. So I'm going to be using one of these green leaves I got from one of Dollar Tree's um, flowers and I'm just going to paint it with the same color. Dollar Tree sells a bag of shells and I'm grabbing one and I'm going to paint it the same color. I'm going to use this Dollar Tree pearl to cover up the hole that's at the top of the seahorse where the string was. So I'm going to take that shell that I painted and I'm going to hot glue it to the back of the seahorse. Next I'm going to take these lilies and I'm going to hot glue them to the little leaf that I painted and then it's going to glue them to the back of the seahorse and this comes out so pretty. Next, I want to take this Dollar Tree mesh ribbon and place a little piece right in front around the warding area, just a little piece to give it a little balance. And that's it. That's all I added to it. And I think these came out amazing. I love the color. It's so beachy. It's perfect for like a bathroom or something like that. And here is the end results. Okay, for this DIY, it's going to be very quick and easy. I took a Dollar Tree frame, removed the back, and I'm just painting with the turquoise paint, and I gave it two coats. All right, so it's dry now. I'm just going to place it right back into the frame. Now I'm going to place down one of these starfish that comes in a pack of three from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue it right to the front and this is so quick and easy but it's so adorable. So I only had one of these little shadow boxes and I wish I had more because at least four on the wall that would look really pretty.
So this only took a few minutes to make. Um, like I said, it's very quick and easy, very inexpensive. And this is how it turned out. For this DIY, I'm going to be taking this Dollar Tree wood plaque, well it's actually wood, and I'm going to be using this paint called Aquamarine. I use my Cricut as well, and I'm also going to be using the white Waverly chalk paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the Aquamarine color with my chippy brush and lightly put a little bit here and there in some areas, because then I'm going to coat it over with the white chalk paint. So I want the actual wood to appear through, so I'm not going to cover it totally. So I'm going to do the same thing with the white Waverly chalk paint. Just grab a little chippy brush, lightly go over the top of the wood, a little bit on top of the aquamarina, and also leaving some of the wood to appear through. So I use my Cricut and I'm going to place down the word that says seize the day, but unfortunately I had a very hard time getting the Dollar Tree vinyl to stick on the board. So I had to do it off camera. Now I'm going to grab some uh, Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm going to hot glue it to the front. I wanted to actually drill holes, but I can't use my tools yet. So um, even though I hot glue it this way, I changed it. I left the little two knots glued to the front and then just glued the rope to the back to make it look like it was coming through. So I'm just gluing the nautical rope to the front right now. And then, like I said, um, I cut the rope and I glue it to the back. Super cute, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. So next I'm going to be using this mesh ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place a little piece on the corner and hot glue it to the back. So I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree little shells. I'm going to place them on the mesh ribbon with a little bit of hot glue. I think this came out so coastal, so beachy. I love the way it came out. And this is the end results. Okay, for this DIY, I took Dollar Tree products, Dollar Tree mirror. It's already been painted blue. Um, so I'm just going to take the Dollar Tree nautical rope and hot glue it in the middle. And I'm going to be using Dollar Tree shells and starfish. 
When you cut this nautical rope, it kind of like unravels, so I'm just going to take some glue and try to keep it together. So I'm just placing down my hot glue and placing down the rope all the way around the mirror inside. Now I'm just going to take a couple of these uh, little shells and place some glue down along the edges and place them down and I'm also going to place down the starfish. To hang this piece I grabbed uh, the nautical rope and just um, hot glued it to the back of the mirror so this way I can hang it. And this came out really cute, quick and easy and this is the end results. All right, for this DIY, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree products, Dollar Tree shells and the Dollar Tree wreath, and some Dollar Tree mesh ribbon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the wreath with this mesh ribbon. Next, I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree jute twine, and I'm just going to wrap three areas around the wreath. Next, I'm going to be placing down the shells. I'm just picking the shells that I like the best and um, putting some on the top and on the middle towards the middle and then because I'm going to be using some uh, moss in between. Now I'm going to be using Dollar Tree Moss and I'm just going to hot glue some of the moss in between the shells. I like the green mesh ribbon and the moss and everything, the combination. It looks very like something you would see in the sea, you know. Um, I don't know. I just like it. I think it's really pretty. Some people use brown. I like the green moss look. So I'm going to be using the same material, the mesh ribbon, and I actually hot glued it to the top, but I changed it and hot glued it to the side. And that is it. I think this came out really pretty and very simple to do and didn't take a lot of shells. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm going to put it in my front door. I think it's pretty.
Okay, for this DIY, I'm going to use Dollar Tree products. Um, I was actually going to use this Hobby Lobby paper with the sand, but I do change it up. Uh, I'm just going to show you that I'm going to take the back of the frame and trace it, and then I'm going to use um, the glue stick to place it down. So I thought I was going to use the Mod Podge with the sand, and then after I was looking at it, I didn't like it. So I do change it. It looks so much better. But right now I'm just applying the Mod Podge and pouring a little bit of sand over it. So I used my Cricut and I cut out a mermaid, and I'm just going to place it right over the glass. So here's where I changed it. I printed out this image of the water with the bubbles and I'm going to cut it to make it fit on the back of the frame and place it down with the glue stick. Now I'm just going to place everything back together. Okay, so now I'm just going to place down these pretty blue rocks or gems or glass, whatever you want to call them, from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to place a little bit down at the bottom um, using my glue gun. I was so glad I changed my mind and went with this idea. I think this looks so much better and very beachy and I love it. It's a great little piece, easy to make, and um, this is how it came out. This is the last DIY. I took this little Dollar Tree um, chalkboard house. Actually, they have all types. They have the one with the white and the chalkboard style. So here's my Cricut, and I'm just going to place down um, this little wording. It says Beach House, and it gives you an idea what you can do with these cute little houses. Now I'm just placing down the vinyl, and I'll show you what it looks like, but I'm going to add some other things to it. Some of the letters didn't come off, so I, I fixed it. So I'm going to be using these rocks that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place them at the bottom of the little house with my glue gun. I think the white rocks make it look so beachy. I think it's coming out really adorable. It's very easy, very inexpensive. Gives you an idea what you can do with these little houses. And this is what it looks like so far with the rocks. So I'm gonna be using this little starfish that I took off one of Dollar Tree's little glass candles. And I'm just gonna hot glue it right at the top of the house. So I added a few little um, tiny shells at the bottom, just a couple. I think this came out really cute. It's a very neutral color and very beachy looking. And this is the end result. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Don't forget to watch the playlist. It's in my description box. Until next time, guys, I will see you. Bye-bye.